Well, how you doing, everybody? Today, we're going to take a look at Disney's remake of Dumbo, directed by Tim Burton and starring Michael Keaton, Colin Farrell, Eva Green, and Danny DeVito. The movie centers around a traveling circus where a baby elephant is born with unusually large ears. The man who runs the show initially wants to get rid of the little freak of nature until the children of one of his performers discovers, holy crap, he can fly! And his mad flying skills manage to save the circus from almost certain bankruptcy. But then along comes a shady businessman with a theme park in... New York? I want to say? I don't think they ever made that clear, but I think it was supposed to be New York. And he makes a very generous offer to buy up Dumbo and the entire circus. But they soon learn that this shady businessman just might be shady. I know, what are the odds? So this wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't good. It takes most of the major beats from the original animated version, mixes them up a bit, and then throws in a bunch of pointless human characters who really serve little purpose other than to react to the holy crap flying elephant. So it's no wonder they hired Aaron Kruger to write the screenplay because few people know more about inserting pointless human characters into a story than him. Of course, the original animated movie is something that a lot of us grew up on, and that was a very short movie. It was only about an hour long. The new version is about twice as long, and feels like it. It drags ass for the first hour or so, and then finally picks up a bit once Michael Keaton's character shows up, mainly because he's pretty good at playing the shady businessman. Keaton was one of the few bright spots in this mess, as was Danny DeVito. I really liked him, actually. He was great. As for Farrell and Green, they tried. The script didn't give them a whole lot to work with, but they tried. Really, the only defining trait about Colin Farrell's character is he just came back from World War I, and his left arm did not come back with him. And I get the feeling they were trying to go somewhere with that missing arm thing, but they never really got there. And I don't even think they were trying to go anywhere with Green's character. As far as the visuals go, the CGI Dumbo was okay. The other CGI animals, not so much. I did really like the look of the theme park. It had kind of a steampunk vibe to it. It was pretty cool. But then after they get to the theme park, Michael Buffer shows up. He's their announcer. I'm not kidding. Let's get ready for Dumbo! He actually says that. Seriously, what the hell? And I like Michael Buffer, but man, that may be the most bizarre casting decision I have seen in a good long while. But believe it or not, that was not the most confusing moment in the movie. The most confusing was just how dark it gets at times. The kids who play Colin Farrell's children, who are terrible actors, by the way, have already lost their mother to... death. I think they may have mentioned what it was that killed her, but I don't remember it, and honestly, I don't care enough to look it up. And of course, Dad was off fighting in the war and comes home missing an arm, and the children are rightly horrified by this, because apparently they weren't warned about this ahead of time. And this is the character's introduction, by the way. It's one of the first scenes in the film. And a little later on, and I suppose this is a minor spoiler, so if you don't want me to spoil it for you, hit the mute button until this goes away. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there's this trainer who is a major first-class asshole to all of the animals, and most of the humans as well, and during a scene that's taken from the original where the tent gets destroyed and collapses, he just gets killed. Like, the tent collapses on top of him and he fucking dies. Like, isn't this a kid's movie? I usually like Tim Burton, but man, he was not the right person to direct this movie. And Aaron Kruger, well, he's not the right man to write anything. So I would say, don't bother seeing this one in theaters. If you're at all curious, wait for rental, but don't waste your money seeing it on the big screen. If you gotta get your Dumbo fix, just watch the original. It's only about an hour long, and it's an hour much better spent. And that about wraps it up for Dumbo. Till next time, take care.